We all know how car prices have been on the rise, and just now things seem to be turning around. But this new $10,000 Toyota truck is definitely the start of a new era. This is amazing news for us all because Toyota is one of the most reliable brands, and this truck is as good as it gets. We are not saying this out of nowhere. There are actually two main reasons why the IMV is unique and so useful beyond being so cheap and every other manufacturer knows it. So watch till the end to know exactly why this truck is shocking everyone. Why? This truck is going to be sold for only $10,000 and you have to ask yourself how capable it will really be. This doesn't make sense. Even the cheapest truck on the market now is the Ford Maverick and that costs twice as much if we don't include the dealership markup. Even Toyota's Hilux, which is one of their affordable trucks sold outside of the U.S., costs twice as much. But why? How is this good for Toyota, and how will this affect the whole industry? Without a doubt, this will create shockwaves everywhere. But if you think about it, it makes so much sense. Most of us can't buy the so-called modern cars that are overpriced for small and useless things. Toyota wants to appeal to the masses, because if they don't, someone else will. Ford came up with the Maverick, and look how successful it is. This is where every company is heading towards. Just look at the Land Cruiser. It was one of the most luxurious SUVs and the price dropped to $55,000. Now they even have a new compact model called the Land Hooper, which will be so much cheaper. This is what the CEO said. The IMV Zero truck is our way of ensuring that owning a reliable and durable vehicle is not a luxury, but a necessity for all. But this seems almost impossible. They are promising the famous Toyota reliability on their cheapest product, performance. This is the most important announcement in the automotive industry of our time. This will be even more useful than their larger trucks like the Tacoma and Tundra because this truck is made to be customizable and Toyota has said it has undergone rigorous testing and development to ensure it meets their high standards. But the most interesting thing is the way this truck is designed because it is as weird as it gets. It doesn't look like a normal commercial pickup like the F-150 or the Maverick and that is done very purposefully. Their intention is not just to make this truck affordable and sell it to a specific type of customer. No, they are telling people to do whatever they want with it. This is the first reason why this truck is changing everything. So you could buy this truck for $10,000 and start a food truck business, make it a small remote restaurant, or even live in it, if that is what you want. And this is the most important thing about this truck. The big cargo space is designed for you to make it your own, and even though it is cheap, it is reliable and capable. Let's be honest, this is Toyota we are talking about. They are not going to jeopardize their reputation just to be affordable. They are leading the charts in almost everything, and they have the resources to make this possible. But how exactly? We all love trucks, right? They are cool, but most new models are just full of extra useless features, and every company gets away with it with a simple marketing gimmick on these features. And we are the ones who have to pay for them. But this is very problematic. This, on top of what happened in 2020, has created a huge spike in car prices all over the world, and now it has to go down and it has already started. But the real reason Toyota will be able to make this possible is because car manufacturers have been profiting too much from making trucks, and why do you think almost every manufacturer is now selling trucks? This is the second reason why Toyota will succeed, because they have already seen the problem with charging whatever they want on their cars. Again, you can take the Land Cruiser as an example. One of the reasons they stopped selling them was because nobody was buying them. Year after year, sales nosedived, and they decided to wait for three years. But now they made it cheaper and gave it a market gimmick to not tarnish the brand as a cheap alternative. And this is nothing new. It is the trend we have been seeing all over the industry. This is what Ford did on the Maverick and Toyota is doing it again on the IMV. But as with everything, there is one problem. It's one. So here's the thing. There are some challenges. The IMV Zero just isn't as fuel efficient as the rest of the industry. And yeah, there aren't any hybrid or electric options right now. But Toyota is working on that as we speak. Its fuel economy isn't terrible, but honestly, it's nothing like the Maverick. That's going to be one of the toughest hurdles for Toyota to clear. And hey, don't just think about policies or the environment. This is going to hit your wallet too. You have to buy gas. And we all know how expensive that's been getting lately. But honestly, this might not be a huge problem. Of course, everyone wants to save money, but you don't really buy this kind of truck just to look cool or to have fun. You buy the IMV to get work done or to do something useful. And if it helps you make a profit, it just makes sense to invest that back in. 
That's pretty much what Toyota is counting on. It's a compromise, sure, but in our opinion, it's not a massive setback. But really, it all depends on what matters most to you. The impact here is actually pretty big. This truck is aimed at the small businesses that keep our economy running, so it's more than just another vehicle in the automotive world. Honestly, this truck could change a lot because it's one of the most disruptive and useful things we've seen in quite a while. It really touches almost everything. Just take the food truck market, for example. In the United States alone, that industry is estimated to be worth more than $1.5 billion. And globally, it's over $4 billion, with about a 6% increase every year. Just imagine how much things could change when Toyota brings their specialty to this industry. And that's just one function of what this truck can do. This is why this truck is shocking everyone, and honestly, other manufacturers are trying to keep up. To stay competitive in places where affordability is a major concern, Ford is already considering expanding its lineup to include more budget-friendly options and investing heavily in technology to bring down production costs because, well, it is either that or they have to say goodbye to their sales. The Maverick did well because it did the same thing, and now, as all of us know, the compact truck market is heating up. What will happen when the IMV is here? To keep up with the new Toyota offering, Chevrolet, Ram, and Nissan, known for their mid-size, mid-budget trucks, will also have to think about expanding their product range or finding ways to cut costs. These brands have strong customer bases and a long history of offering a variety of models to meet the needs of different customers. So it is only right that they treat their customers well. All they can do is wait and see how the IMV Zero performs on the market and quietly build their own alternative to come out as the best second option. So what now? While affordability is universally appealing, consumers in various regions may have specific requirements that need to be addressed. The success of the IMV Zero truck will depend on more than just its affordability. It will also hinge on Toyota's ability to adapt the vehicle to the specific needs and preferences of different markets around the world. But Toyota has a long history of tailoring its vehicles to local markets, and this expertise will be crucial in ensuring the IMV Zero's success. That is why this truck is so customizable in the first place, but if that is not enough, Toyota can create a truck that is not only affordable, but also meets the specific needs of its target customers by carefully considering the unique demands of each region. By taking a thoughtful and comprehensive approach to market adaptation, Toyota can increase the chances of the IMV Zero becoming a truly global success story and hopefully igniting a competition like the Maverick did, because that is the only way we can be sure that this type of truck will continue to be developed. This is what the truck market has been desperately needing, and finally it is here. But what do you think? Is this all worth it, or is it just another cash grab vehicle? Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.